I want to move on real quick and talk about this article from Reason, which is, of course, one of the main libertarian outlets. And while I, you know, the Cato is probably known a little bit better for foreign policy, if people are reading libertarian, kind of more mainstream, Reason's one of the places to go. And so when they you know, run an article on that just pushes China war propaganda. Uh, you know, the article, uh, the title of the article is Terror Washing a Genocide. It's by Ben Mock, who I haven't read before a reason. Typically, their foreign policy is like Eric Bohem or Fiona Harang, which who I usually think are fantastic. So, you know, that's one of the reasons I want to talk about it. And also because I think it's a good chance to just remind people people that these reports from the new lines institute are absolute trash and so what what this piece is is it's um from sean roberts who wrote a book claiming that uh china has basically you know covered up its cultural genocide of uh the uyghurs through um through, you know, through saying that, you know, there's terrorism and everything like that. And so one of the things that, you know, Roberts, of course, really relies on, he's the co-author of the report from the New Lines Institute, uh, the Uyghur genocide, along with Adrian Zenz. And what they rely on is breakdowns from Adrian Zenz that claims that a decline in Uyghur birth rate is due to a Chinese genocide. But as uh, Gareth Porter and Mads Blumenthal explained in a piece from the Gray Zone earlier this year, you have to look and really bend the truth to believe this. Uh, they point out that a lot of the decline in birth rate is due to the fact that Uyghur women are have an increased access to birth control. And so when there's no birth control, women tend to have a lot more babies than when there are. Now, you know, feminist, I think, would typically promote this and say it's a great thing because it's, you know, putting less burden on the woman uh, and allowing her to have options outside of just being a mother. And I'm pretty sure that's the point that the editors at Reason would make if, let's say, there was like any kind of American or they were just looking at Adrian Zenz's beliefs that, you know, women, you know, I think should be more in the home and like shouldn't be taking birth control. You also have uh, Zen's. You I think know, Zen's has said that gender equality is part of Satan's plot. Yeah. As well. Yeah, he's uh, he is along with like homosexuality, very, like and... you know, pro Christian, like zealot type. You know, he he isn't like saying like you know the Jews will burn because of Hitler. He's you know saying the Jews will burn because they haven't accepted you know. Converted. Jesus into their lives and stuff like this. Very anti-gay. Um, he said, I think, in the rapture that if they didn't already convert, they would be refined in a fiery furnace. Right. Um, <laughs> so that... That's who Adrian Zenz is. He fits is. in well with the Reason crowd. Yeah, that's, you know, this is the person that all the work uh, that, you know, Roberts and others are doing on the Uyghur issue, a lot of it, almost all of it, is based off of uh, Zenz. And so, you know, and it's not only that, it's also that... A, a very minor look at Roberts would take you to the New Lines Institute. And just, uh, you know, basic looking at the New Lines Institute should get you to uh, the, the article published in the Grade Zone earlier this year on this institute that was, it's just absolutely defunct. Almost, you know, none of their students are getting the kind of education they're supposed to get. The There's been questionable as far as uh, the, the Fairfax University of America, which New Lines Institute is, you know, uh, teachers weren't qualified to teach their assigned courses. And so why the hell would you be citing, uh, you know, people who work with the institute attached to this organization? And, you know, it just goes to show, I think, kind of the fundamental problem. And that is too few libertarians know who Gareth Porter is, right? Because if you knew who Gareth Porter is, you wouldn't have fallen for this. And Reason did. Uh, and I think it's actually going to be in like their December print issue. 
Oh, uh, one last, two more things I'll mention on this. One thing in the article that was a major red flag to me pretty early in the paragraph is like first or second paragraph. They called the Uyghurs the most surveilled people in the world, which there may be a lot of surveillance of the Uyghurs, not saying there isn't. But to say that after it was just uncovered that Israel was spying on Palestinian human rights, uh, you know, leaguer leaders and members of, you know, organizations that they later labeled a terrorist group. And when you look at the amounts, like the, the fact that, you know, they, they've recently exposed this blue wolf program where the Israeli soldiers, the IDF soldiers were going around the West Bank taking pictures of absolutely everyone they possibly could kind of a stupid thing to say. And, uh, you know, it's just, you know, trying to say, oh, Saddam Hussein is the worst human rights violator in the world. This is the same kind of worst state, you know, propaganda that it's garbage. It's not an actual statement. It's just meant to rile up Americans against the, the Chinese Communist Party. And then the last thing I'll mention is that CNN also did a review of this very same book and did not put genocide in the title of their article. Uh, and. And I, you know, that, that really probably isn't on the author that's on the editors at reason. And that's really problematic to me, uh, that, you know, they're, they're sticking genocide in the title of their articles. And so I don't know if anybody for some reason would want to talk about it. I'm more than willing to like have them on to the show or something like that. Um, you know, I talk about reason articles all the time. Typically it's because they're absolutely great, but this was atrocious and just straight up war state propaganda. And from, you, you know, it, it, if they're like giving a positive review to some guy who works at like, you know, uh, is uh, what West End Zets or something like that? Obviously, yeah. people identify that as worst state propaganda. But but here, you know, it, it's just because China's bad and everybody goes along with China bad, including the independent media. Uh, we had this very unfortunate uh, thing going on here. Connor, yeah, let's just add a yeah, a really quick. Zens is uh, you know, he's part of that Jamestown Foundation, which was founded by Bill Casey, Reagan's director of the CIA. So it, it is it's kind of as crazy as if you were talking to somebody from West Exec, which is where uh, I believe Blinken and Michelle Flournoy, that's their military industrial complex uh, consulting firm. Yeah. 